Hey everyone, and welcome to the nothing to show developer vlog number something I don't know because it's been a really long time since the last one. All right, I oh, whoops, yeah, I'm really uh, both exhausted and excited right now. Uh, well, one, it's midnight here, uh, so I'm just like recording this in the middle of the night because I had this like sudden, like you know, creative spur in creating this new level that I'm gonna show off. Um, I just want to like quickly mention like the other reason why I'm so excited is because yeah I've made a lot of progress on uh, Nothing to Hide and this other side project that I've been doing that I'll announce at the end of this video. Anyway, let's uh, for now check out this new level with the new mechanics. And the new mechanic is dragging around dead and unconscious people as puzzle pieces. And this was kind of hinted at at the uh, end of the last, um, I guess, hold on, let me just like quickly double check that all my audio is working. Okay, no, I can't check that. All right, if I, I'll probably have to redo this video, whatever. Anyway, so, um, yeah, do you remember? Yeah, at the end of the Nothing to Hide demo, uh, that, yeah, that was this nobody over here that could trigger the uh, power eye eyes. So, uh, yeah, for this one, you could see, like, yeah, if I stand here in front of this uh, power eye eye, it activates those conveyor belts. If I step out, it doesn't, this doesn't move. So, I can't get through ah but if I drop this over here so I can fetch this and so the new mechanic you can do is pick up and drag around and drop these little unconscious and dead people and because Poppy's so strong she doesn't even slow down she just picks up nobody and puts him in her pocket you know she's not even wearing pockets because she's got a skirt I, I don't know but yeah you drop the body over there and you can simply, yeah, just leave it there and you can move on. And so here's the other thing I also realized is that you can use these, I can use these conveyor belts as kind of doors, sort of. So this conveyor belt is moving so fast you can't actually go through unless uh, you deactivate this. I, I mean, I can't pick this up right now because that would immediately kill me because I'm not in the line of sight of anything else. So what I would have to do is to remove that but to do that I have to bring over another eye eye so let me pick this one up also yeah uh, so the winner of the uh, so a while back I, I uh, opened up a poll on what the new eye eye design should be because the uh, you know the uh, Illuminati symbol is a little bit overused and so yeah so this like monolith is what I uh, we y you peeps uh, voted on like it, like not only does it remind players of you know is it reminiscent of 2001 a space odyssey it's also you know these models look like uh our, our digital devices our ipods and androids and all that uh this is like you know the the design for those models are still very early Th these ones look kind of crappy to be honest uh but yeah you remove the power ii and you can walk across and so here's like two-thirds of the puzzle soft uh so then there's this and you can't get across there unless, yeah, unless this uh, power eye eye is, can see someone. Uh, sorry, I mean like this conveyor belt here so that the light bridge uh, swings back and forth. However, this carpet over there, so yeah, so this carpet over here, you can't just drop it over here and wait for this light bridge to go back and forth. And you can't drop it here either because that would immediately bring you back. So. And this is something I have to play test to see like if it's too big of a leap of logic. Uh, the solution, well actually, let me, uh, so the solution involves uh, coming, going back, grabbing nobody. Yeah, the frame rate right now is uh, pretty slow because I'm, I because I have to do this like weird audio uh, hack for making this work on a MacBook and also I'm recording while this game is playing so everything sucks and I have like a zillion tabs open so the solution anyway forgetting all that is to so oh yeah if you can if you can see down here is a conveyor belt that moves no matter what and oh so so how how would how is that helpful you say I hear you say well 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 you drop this over here, and at periodic intervals, that power eye, eye will see nobody and go out of its line of sight at periodic intervals, which means this conveyor belt 
gets turned on, then turned off, th uh, then turned on. This sounds kind of dirty now that I say it out loud, but you know what I mean. Turned on, turned off, turned on, and turned off, and turned on, whoops, there we go, and turned off. And here we are, and that is the puzzle solved. Oh uh, yeah, definitely have to play test it to see if that... I'm worried that that last step is way too big of a leap in logic, so if that's the case, I could add more in-between puzzles to build up to that. But anyway, like, I think that is a super, super cool puzzle. I'm really proud of this uh, one design I got here. Uh, my favorite uh, level in the original Nothing to Hide demo back in uh, March, uh, February, uh, was, yeah, the sixth level before the uh, level, the very last level, the penultimate level, and yeah, I'm so, so happy with this new design. Anyway, so that's that, so I can like back out of here so that like, it's not dragging out my frame rate. And so yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, Nothing to Show developer vlog, I am exhausted and excited because, all right, let me just skip over the new tab. I have so this was the last backer update and there is so much this was and this was like two weeks ago so new game mechanics you see this art with lights and shadows that's awesome new game story like because the previous story was kind of uh you know hammy to be completely honest which is uh a point out hold on to that point i'm gonna bring it back later uh the new website oh yeah let me let me pull that up uh, if I'm connected to the Wi-Fi in this very not acoustic basement, which I'm not. Yeah, okay, forget about that. Yeah, so the new website, uh, anime tobacco rewards are done. Um, I'll work on the static rewards. And oh yeah, I, the, my other, uh, the public domain jam, uh, winner was announced and it's like, the, the game is like really good. Like, the, the, I, I highly recommend like playing this game, Paper Jackal. Like, the core mechanic is such a cool twist I ever like literally and I love it uh, so and what is my side project the public domain job well that was actually one of my other side projects and that also like really helps nothing to hide because one press and two uh, you know both nothing to hide and the public domain jam are around you know really care about public domain code anyway I'm rambling so mm, water is good <laughs> the Reason why I'm so exhausted is because I was well for today, Friday, and for the rest of the weekend, I'm at Gamer X, a convention in San Francisco, and that's like gay G A Y Gamer X, and it's a they really could pick a better name, but um yeah, it's a queerness and gamer slash game dev slash whatever uh, conference and why this matters to my side project and why this uh, matters to when I just said earlier about uh, hammy narratives is that my side project was an experiment in me like doing game story writing and I think my story writing skills have really really improved in the past month because uh, I've written like I, I wrote like a short story every day and for like uh, like two weeks uh, one short story per day for two weeks and like one of those short stories actually hit the front page of reddit and i also wrote a short story in the form of a game and this game this side project is called coming out simulator 2014 and yes this it was featured on v the verge and featured on polygon today and like holy crap i this <laughs> this actually got more press than nothing to hide so sort of jealous but yeah so this like really helps the nothing to hide project in like one way uh well, well two ways one this was a really great practice for like story writing and like all the reception i've got for this the reviews like were like it, it made them cry they were like really stressed out about the narrative choices they had to make the storytelling was like both funny and sad and bittersweet and i am really proud of this so yeah that really helps with it and that story writing skills uh those story writing skills that i built while uh, making this game really carry over, uh, well, hopefully will carry over to uh, fleshing out the new story for Nothing to Hide. And the other thing is, you know, freaking press and Polygon and The Verge. Like, it's big. And also, like, uh, the interview's not out yet, but it's also going to be featured on Fast Company. I just got interviewed by them yesterday. So, like, holy crap. Like, so, like, I, I, this is awesome. So, yeah. Exhausted. 
excited. Things are going well. And I completely forgot this entire recording to play the new soundtrack that the musician for Nothing to Hide, Halcyon Akaka and X made. Let me play a little bit of it. Ah, oh, yes. Let, let's just sit here for a while and just appreciate this because this is so good. So this music will be played during a sequence where you get chased by drones. <laughs> <laughs> 